Hey there, it's Andy with Reverb. You know, in the guitar world, we often focus on high-end boutique guitars, perhaps made in the USA or the UK. But there are a lot of affordable guitars that can easily get the job done, sound great, and won't break the bank. So today we're looking at five guitars under 500 that you can find every day on Reverb that are totally worth checking out. So let's start with this Epiphone 339 Pro. What you have here is a pretty traditional design with a laminated maple body. This time it's a mahogany set neck and some great appointments like Alnico pickups that you could pull the volume pot on and actually coil split. There's some great classic tones in here. And as you'll soon find out, some actually really great twangy sounds as well. So here's some traditional warm semi-hollow tones with these humbuckers in full mode. I'll just use the neck pickup with a clean sound. And here's a tone you might not be expecting from this guitar. I have both pickups coil split, and I'll be using both pickups on in the middle position. So let's just go through a few more pickup configurations, both clean and dirty. Next up, we have the Squire Vintage Modified Tele Custom. If you haven't played a Squire in a long time like myself, you'll be pleasantly surprised what they're coming out with these days. You have a wide range humbucker in the neck, which is a great match with this Duncan Design single coil. The rest is pretty classic, nine and a half inch fretboard radius, maple neck, and you get a chunky basswood body. With a clean tone, I'll just go through the pickups and show you how well they blend together, which is a really surprising thing in the middle position, you get that classic Tele twang.
recent years, Gretsch has been offering more affordable models that you could find used on Reverb for around 500 bucks, like the Electromatic series. Well, here's a new one, the Streamliner, which offers some classic Gretsch features like a laminate maple body with a spruce block down the center to eliminate feedback on stage, and these new Broadtron pickups, which have some classic Gretsch chime to them. There's also a V-stop tailpiece, which looks like it belongs on the front of a classic car. And it also offers a master volume and a master tone and individual volume controls for each pickup. So let's check out this Streamliner in Torino Green, which I think looks great under the lights. I'll check out these Broadtron pickups with the clean tone first. Here's one that started off in the 50s always being a low-budget guitar. It's the 59 from Dan Electro. You may have seen this in the hands of Mr. Jimmy Page and other countless artists. And it's just a really simple design with a masonite body, bolt-on maple neck, and the famous lipstick pickups which have a really bright and open chimey tone. No wonder why Jimmy used it on a lot of songs like Cashmere and Black Mountainside. The Ibanez Artcore series has always been a great affordable line for semi-hollow and jazz tones. Here we have the AS73G model with its classic elite pickups, which is a nice warm jazzy tone to go with this maple semi-hollow body, mahogany neck, and it even has these classic appointments like the sure grip knobs from the artists of days gone by. Let's check out these classic elite pickups, starting with a nice jazz tone in the neck, and then something a little bit more punchy and high output in the bridge position. Bye. 
And it's no surprise that this art core has a really thick singing lead tone when you feed it some overdrive. <laughs> There's five guitars under $500 that you could find all day on Reverb. Be sure to leave some comments below on your favorite affordable guitars, and I'll see you next time.